When your bobbin is wound and you wish to continue sewing, you need to thread the bobbin back into the shuttle. The bobbin thread first goes through one of the two holes on the inside of the shuttle. I generally use the hole furthest away from the shuttle tip, but this is personal preference. There are slight differences in tension between the left and the right hole. Pull the thread through the hole and you will now be ready to insert the bobbin into the shuttle. The bobbin must be inserted so that as thread is drawn off it rotates anti-clockwise or in the direction of the hook. Keeping tension on the thread so that you don't get any loose bits inside, you can now bring the bobbin forward and drop it into the shuttle. Check again to make sure that the bobbin is rotating in the direction of the hook or anti-clockwise. Our next step is to correctly place the thread underneath the leaf spring which is attached to the thread tensioning screw. Depending on how tight the thread tensioning spring is, you might need to use a small screwdriver to loosen it very slightly so that you can get the thread underneath the leaf spring. Now work the thread underneath the leaf spring so that the leaf spring is on top of the thread. You will see that there are two holes above the leaf spring. You need to thread the thread through the hole which corresponds to the hole which you used when you put it through the bottom hole. So the two holes should be on top of one another in order to have the correct tension for whichever hole you selected first. Your bobbin and shuttle are now correctly threaded and they are ready to be inserted into the machine. If you need to make any small adjustments to your thread tension, you can take a screwdriver and tighten or loosen the thread tensioning screw as necessary.